What's up? What's up, everybody? It's the Potato Nator, and yes, what? It's Tuesday, October 22nd. It's about 9.15 in the morning, my time anyway. And the DLC, the anniversary update for Alan Wake 2 dropped this morning. Uh, gave us a, a whole bunch of quality of life improvements, uh, and it gave us the classic outfit. Not classic. Yeah, the cl classic. Oops. For Alan Wake. This is the OG uh, Alan Wake uh, costume from the for original, and I'm I'm torn because I like it, but I would have liked to have seen the uh, the young Alan on it. It'd have been cool to see a, an updated version of that face, of his younger face. That'd have been kind of cool. Uh, would have been cool for photo mode too, uh, but that's not what this video is about. This video is for the Lake House DLC, also dropped with the update. So we're going to be playing through that here right now. Let's get into it. This isn't the Bureau's first time in Bright Falls. 1970, Last one was in 2010. It's not exactly clockwork, but this town sees way more altered world events than most. We knew it was just a matter of time before the lake acted up again. After the AWE in 2010, the FBC's research department set up a facility, the Lake House, to study the threshold in Cauldron Lake, Find better ways to contain the entity inside. Your tax dollars at work. When we detected a spike in paranatural activity at Cauldron Lake, before I even knew you were on this case saga, the Lake House was my first stop. I was shorthanded, hoped they could spare some help, maybe give us some intel on the situation. If I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, Saga. Hana just kept on driving. Oh, okay, so she's this is like she's telling her about it, about what happened. This is Agent Kieran Estevez responding to an AWE alert in the vicinity. I need to speak with the Marmons. So much for the welcome wagon. You all set up the perimeter. We're on the threshold's doorstep, so keep your eyes peeled. Yes, ma'am. Oh, we get to play as Estevez. Return addendum. Ooh. Speak to Dr. Marmont and Dr. Mar. Oh, they must be. This shouldn't take long. Okay. You see anything? Radio me. Roger that. The lake house was run by the research department. Research and investigations don't really see eye to eye. What they call science, I call a violation of bureau protocol and human decency. Classic interdepartmental drama, your FBI saga, you know how it goes. That's actually really cool. My low opinion of the research department may have clouded my judgment. I do like the fact that she's recounting this to Saga. She's telling her about it like after everything happened. I kind of have to. Okay, so she's got the pistol. We still just do the burn, right? I'm going to waste one. Yep. Okay. 
I just like I I haven't played. I've been just doing like photo mode, so I haven't really actually been playing playing. No, nope, nothing over here. You know how it is, you gotta like explore everything. Gonna run. Well this goes off down here. Got it. Table. Just can you go under? Does she auto crouch? No. Investigations department. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, this does say the like house. I was like, this looks literally like the oldest house. No one wants to check the individual carrying a firearm into a restricted government facility? No? Oh. Hello, and welcome to another exciting day here at the Lake House. As I'm sure you know, I am Dr. Jules Marmont. And this is my wife, Dr. Diana Marmont. And together and we, we are the are heads, heads of, of research, research at, at this, this facility. facility. We want to thank you all for helping us break new ground in our study of Cauldron Lake. That's right, Jules. But don't let our exciting work in threshold regulation and Dimensional coupling keep you from observing the proper safety protocols. Mm. You said it, Diana. We run a tight ship here at the lake house. So, always remember the three S's. Safety, security, and censorship. It's a C. Mm. A C. <laughs> Why, yeah. That is the joke, Diana. Well, it's a stupid, fuck, wonderful joke, Jules. Mm. We'll see you down there. <laughs> yeah, that seems healthy. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, she picked up on it right away. Right. Oh, look at that redacted stuff. <laughs> Submarine. A little bit more redacted. Oh, it's the oldest house, yeah. Oh, that's the that's a director trench. Report that the still the oldest house is still status of director trench management team, all the person on the oldest house. The time of lockdowns initially remains unknown. Oh, okay. Matt. That's handy. Okay. Dr. Marmont's office security. Painting, holding an observation. Office, automated typing device chamber. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Dr. Dr. Marmont's not here. Nobody is. I'll have to check downstairs. She's happy in that picture. At least. Appointment, special service, Rose University. My new fellow head of Lake House, oh, Diana. An experiment. That bodes well. <laughs> they must all be working on the lower levels. I'll need to head down. Okay, computer. Oh, I Changing may need that. Passwords, huh? 
to customers we set daily to address security concerns. Try use, using significant personal dates, coordinates. Do not use birthdays, the current date, phone number, etc. Please also remember that for the time being, passwords are not to exceed six digits. Okay. So, perfect. 09 14 2023, six digits. It's not six digits. I am bad at math. That is eight digits. Uh, maybe 1423. We can see. Placement key card request form. The highest one, I forgot what it's called. Uh, my old card went missing. How would I know if it was stolen or is lost? Huh. Subject key. Place has been firmed to possess intrinsic paranatural ability. Hmm. Computer. So we're going to do O nine fourteen. That's not right. Hmm. Fourteen twenty twenty three. Damn it. Oh, you know what? I bet you any money it's backwards. Because I'm from the U.S. <laughs> so it should be uh, 14. Nine. Nope. No? Okay. Uh, it's the other day. Was, was, would give a date for an appointment? Exceptional sir, uh, I'll stand at the warehouse. Nope. Here, notice of appointment. What day? Uh, July 18th. Is that also 2023 then? Because it needs to be six digits. So July 18th would be 0, 7, 18, 23. Come on. have a date it did not okay well let's try it backwards so 14 that's not right no. huh September 13th. Password not to exceed six digits. Thank you. Wait, 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 hold on. There's a rule. We are aware this may be inconvenient. We recommend using a permanent set of digits as the beginning of the password, followed by numbers that change daily. Oh. So 2023. 14. Nope. 20, uh, whoops. Zero, nine. Damn it. Huh. 20, 23. Seven for July. It says, do not use birthdays, the current date, phone numbers. Significant personal dates, coordinates. Okay. 
trying to figure out if there's anything else. date here. Mm, nope. This, this didn't have, this had this date, which was July 18th. Zachariah Trench cash register. So it couldn't be 23. Oh, eight. Have I been putting in the wrong number the whole time? It's July 18th. Oh my gosh. Where did I get four, 14s here? And I've been. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, so let's see. Green. That's not right. Huh. Seven. Let's do it backwards. 18, zero, seven, nope. Come on. Let's try backwards. 23, 07, 18. That's not right. 23, 18. Seven. Okay. Hmm. Did I do this already? 18. Nope. Huh. Permanent set. 18, 14. I don't know. It says not to exceed six digits. So I'm assuming you have to type in all six digits. I mean, it has to be one of these three numbers. Oh, yo, 38. Come on. That's not right. 38. September 14th, 2023. So you also have July 18th. So if you take, it says not to use the current day, but it doesn't say not to use other days. So September 13th. Thirty-eight September thirteenth is when they changed it. This was that memo came out literally the day before. Seed six digits. Thanks for that. You know, these birthdays, current date, the current date. So it can't be September fourteenth. Couldn't it? Couldn't be September fourteenth, twenty twenty-three. So thirty-eight has to be one of the numbers. Is there anything else? So this has July 18th. That'll be wrong. It will be shared with Diana Mark. So July 18th would be 718. 18. Hey! There we go. So seven, eighteen, 
and then 38. So you got to do July 18th, which is the appointment of uh, the head, where he becomes head of the lake house. And then 38 was from the calendar for when she got her torpedo pet. Now I can unlock the door. All right. Remember to lock your computer before leaving the station for any amount of time. Changing your password daily does not improve your facility security if you leave your computer open. Project Arbitus is officially requested we return the pages. We aren't using them for any work on Project Ramus. They are shared research material. So does my sweep work? Oh, I forgot that it does backwards. Reminder the proposed annual budget need to be in. I'm too busy to attend meetings. That's Dr. Armon. Just use the budget from last year. Make sure to specify that a specific percentage of the research budget is to go toward Project Arbitus. I apologize for the difficulty my wife is presenting, Harry. I believe she's suggesting that I would take her project budget. An unfair and preposterous accusation, though I am confident you understand. <laughs> so does next Wednesday work? <laughs> okay, obviously they're not having a good marriage. So, I don't know. Alright, so we unlocked the door. So I'm assuming that's for the elevator. Uh, oh, we got a... We got another thing here. Let's see. It's kind of Lake House daily. Good news. HQ still dark. Pie was good. More pie for the rest of us. Nut allergy bad. <laughs> we have coffee. Deer fest this week. No alma beer. It's good. I tried. Uh, the artist's blank. Someone stole the black whiteboard marker. All vacation time canceled. Oh. And I, do we, nope, what does that say? Don't touch. Okay. Ramus, daily stand up, no doodling. Caution. Oh, we got the bucket. Maybe we'll see Ati. Can I open this door? It's green. Let's go. All right. Service hatch. Experiments in progress. This should come in handy. Hey. Oh, it's the same type of clearance cards from Control where you have to have different uh, clearance numbers for different doors. Okay. Dr. Marmon here to remind you to put in 100% effort today. <laughs> the same quirkiness like uh, Dr. Darling. All right, to the elevator. So, security key card. Uh, let's see, so we're on the ground floor, so let's go negative one. As soon as I got in that elevator, my bad news detector started going nuts. Estevesta team, something's going on in the lake house. I want all nearby agents to- Oh, shit! Mm hmm Converge on the facility now. Belay that order. Oh, shit. Yo. A the threshold event had hit the lake house. Now it was the Marmont's problem. Our mission was outside. Yo, they were. They were in the flash. The Marmonts were in the flash. That, you know what that means. What the fuck was that? Now, I didn't watch any of the trailers. Nothing. So all I saw was the update had a new enemy type. And I'm a 
probably about to meet it. The elevator. So this is unlocked. Our special blinking research order. Ooh, safe spot. That's what we're gonna manual save. Empty slots. I forgot they added more. Ammo box. Hey, hey. Perfect. Oh, that's a safer. I just realized that. Yeah. Asper. Dr. Darling. It's just not a repeat, it's not gonna play. Okay. Uh do I hit uh, yeah, I guess I hit the button. Okay, okay. Priority one, get the lights on. Standing around in the dark near Cauldron Lake, they're not smart. Uh, I gotta go turn them on first. Okay. Cool. The lights are on. That's horrible. <laughs> we all know this is horrible. If you've played any Alan Wake game, lights off is bad. Oops, I, gotta, I forgot I got a ticket. I'm so used to playing games now that literally just auto loot stuff. Oh, is this? Receiver. Plugging a core in should get the lights on. Isn't that one of those things where you had to like lift it with Jesse? Oh, buddy. Where is it? Because there's the door. Nothing? Oh, that's empty. Where? We're gonna, we're gonna, that's the door. So this is more ammo. Empty. Fail. security key card as well so we came back here's the door oh oh it's a handheld that one this is time not a regulation fbc weapon Ooh. can't open it from the side I need to get the power on huh jill's key card could be useful Shame. Uh, totally unrelated. No, I now have a level three clearance card in my office. Plus a lot of black rock. Oh, I wish they'd make these things lighter. <laughs> Can I drop it? Like, no, I can't drop it. Okay. The way I saw it, there was only one way out. Identify the source of the event and contain or eliminate it. Now, good news. I just had to keep going down. Bad news? The elevator liked to disappear. That's the hiss. Oh, boy. It sounded... Oh, it sounded like it. Pop oh. you on. There we go. Awesome. The elevator's back.
Why did this go dark? Why do I hear breathing? We can't open it from this side. Oh, the door. The door is green, though. Oh, I don't have the key card, right? Does this work? My key card oh. isn't high enough clearance. side. This computer's on now. Intentional staff. Black rod. Sub level five. Sensitive reminder. Pi day. Computer reminder. Please remember to lock the computer. That was yesterday. Hmm. What does that say? Don't forget to lock your workstation. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. You uh, didn't do that. Is there anything else I could do? It was just, it was just reading? Yeah, it's just reading. We're gonna save this again. I oh, I didn't mean to manual save. Let's we'll just quick save. All right, so we gotta hit this button. Right, that opened the way. I heard that. And it didn't work either. Run, 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 run. It's probably what I need the new the new gun for. Get in the elevator. Get in the elevator. Get in the elevator. What the fuck were those things? Get in the elevator. Get in the elevator. Get in the elevator. Ah, uh, two. You never really get used to the shit you see in this job, but you can learn techniques to adjust, to function. Take six deep breaths, then get to work. Find the source, collapse the threshold. Mirror, please hold. Please hold. Nowhere am I. Uh, I don't like this. There's a painting right in front, and it's moving ever so slightly. What is that? I 
can you oh my goodness you can talk to it if you can understand me i'm an agent of the federal bureau of control i can assist you if you take no hostile action against me or any action that could be perceived as hostile do you understand <laughs> So what kind of entity are you? You can speak. That means you probably imprinted on a person or retained some of your former self's information. Previously human, maybe? Okay, I can work with that. Mm. I just had an unpleasant encounter with some other painted individuals. Any relation? A thousand what does that mean? Paint no brush and self portrait! Okay, hey, hey, calm down! Fire in his eyes and hands and Now. Now. Bad news. That thing is really pissed off. Mm -hmm. Good news. It didn't try to kill me. True. Okay, baby steps. <laughs> baby steps. All right. All right, so from that, there's a key Angry card. Angry living paintings are not typically on the Cauldron Lake bingo card. But something different was happening at the lake house, and I couldn't let it escape. Bright Falls didn't need this particular cherry on its already shitty Sunday. Sub-level three. So there should be a level three card here. So we'll have to get it so that I can go back up and get that gun. Emergency phone? Hmm. Oh, it's a safe black the black rock safety. Yeah. But this this literally looks like the oldest house. Like it's it, you know, like they're in the oldest. Ooh. Can we open these doors? We can. ATO Chief Technician. Refinement process, ATD output. Oh, the automatic, was it the printing device or typing device? Oh, it literally says it right there. Uh -huh. We'll produce writing mimicking. Wait. Yo. They were making a device to literally fake Alan? Woof. Diana and Jules Marmont had once been a team. Rising stars in the Bureau, both talented in their own way. Diana innovated and Jules got funding from the bureaucrats. Cooperation led to respect. Connection. Then after a decade of hard work, the happy couple were promoted. Co-heads of research. Their first years at the lake house were good. Challenging, but not insurmountable. Not for them. Gradually, thoughts fell into their heads like drops of dark water. Why does she get all the credit? Why does he get any credit? With that, a crack formed in the lake house. The Marmonts and their work became arrogant, erratic. The crack widened and the water seeped in. So I know he just, obviously he narrated it, 
And this is, looks like a page. What? Well, this is caution suspected altered material. So maybe it is actually his writing. But I mean, if they're making a machine to mimic his writing, did he actually write it or did the machine write these? Rudolph Lane stood back from the canvas. He didn't recognize the piece. Did he paint this? His mind was foggy, unfocused. He knew the Marmots were putting something in his food. A man in a white coat came to steer Lane back to his cell. He did not resist. He was too tired. He lay on the bed, but the stench in his cell wouldn't let him sleep. An acid stink, the turpentine, the paint. It was all over him. Years of it, a thousand paintings. A thousand more to come. A putrid weight he could never wash away. Cold hate simmered below the mist clogging his thoughts. Hatred for the paint. Hatred for the brushes. For the Marmots. For himself. Okay, so obviously this man is the painting we just experienced. Like, that's... That's an easy connection. <laughs> um, but... That means Alan's writing this. So, if you follow any of the, or if, if you're watching me for the first time, or if you've watched other Alan Wake stuff, or you've watched my stuff, we know Alan, through the lore, wrote many different things to try to escape the, the, the dark place. So this could be one of those attempts. Oop, wow. Why are you giving me a flashbang now? Moving forward, research of Lake House will be divided into two distinct projects. September 12, 2023. Notes regarding a page of an Alan Wake manuscript I found in the archives. I checked the records, and this page is not in our inventory. I believe it manifested inside the Lake House directly. I won't be filing this page. It'll just send Jules into a panic. The page is written in Wake's usual style, so I can't say for certain if it's being literal or figurative when it calls us monsters. But what's interesting is that the page indicates that a painting succeeded in linking Cauldron Lake's threshold with our facility. Right, mm. it's always been a clearly superior avenue of research, but I never considered that the writing itself would dictate a different art form as the catalyst for our success. I cannot accept that. I can't allow Jules to stumble his way into success. Not after the years of work I put into this research. I got word yesterday that two writers are visiting Bright Falls. I will beat Jules to the finish line. Oh, those are uh Amanda and is it Amanda? I don't I don't remember the name, but the uh the couple that you first interviewed with Saga in the diner. No, because he's, he's a playwright. She was a writer. What date is this? Oh, 3 6 23. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, let's continue. So that's obviously her. Oh, no, it's just a different office. Okay. I hear something. Oh, here we go. Nope. There was a crack in the lake house. The Marmonts had let the lake in, but the water could not flow. It became trapped, stagnant, went bad. The truth was controlled here. The art was not art, just content for the experiment. That must be the page. Is she just going to repeat it? There was a crack yeah. in the lake house. The Marmonts had let the lake Oh, in, empty. But the water could not flow. It became trapped, stagnant, went bad. The truth That's was controlled. Medicine. Booker. The art was not art. Just Booker. Yeah. The experiment. The Edward Franklin Booker. Yeah. I guess those I guess those those were the people she was talking about. 
There was a crack in the oh. lake house. <laughs> Run to the safe space. Uh, quick save. All right. Art Let's go through. Art, just content for the experiment. Oh. Typewriters. Oh, please don't let this be what I think it is. Oh yeah, the auto typewriting devices. Now, typewriters and Cauldron Lake do not mix. And a room full of them all clacking away. 100% bad news. The door on the right's closed. The door on the left is open. Is there? And that one's also closed. That one's busted. This is maintenance and repair. Oh, we got another tape recording. Contents of Wake Manuscript. We have begun finding pages. Very like written by Alan Wake. Though I do not like to bring myself or my biases into my work, I must do so here to address the matter being examined as reference for any future readers. I am Diana Marmont. The page we found summarizes my life with Jules, husband co researcher. This turn us into characters for its story, making generalizations and assumptions that I must attempt to evaluate without emotion or prejudice. Hmm, interesting. 7th, 2018. Notes regarding Dr. Emil Hartman, founder of the Cauldron Lake Lodge, where he manipulated artists in an attempt to control the power of the shadow. I've gone through his notes, which were confiscated by the Bureau after his arrest in 2010. Overall, Hartman's work was sloppy. Complete disregard for proper scientific method. But he was bold enough to try something we haven't. Our procedural writing machines are promising, but we could understand the effects of Cauldron Lake's threshold much better by observing live artists in action. Thanks to Hartman, we even have a list of prospects. Next step is to send Dr. Darling a request to bring some into the lake house for analysis. Oh no, they were going down the same line as Dr. Hartman? No, no, no. To the door. Oh, more painting. Shotgun? I can never say no to extra firepower. But if those. That crap doesn't work. If the shotgun doesn't work. Or the regular handgun didn't work. What do you. What. What? Huh. Back where I started. Oh no, am I gonna have to go through Spatial this three times? Usually three. observes the law of three. Three times? Find a way to keep our gun. Get the key card and gun makes money. Proceed through the spatial recurrence. Oh, anything different? Out of curiosity, usually there's something different each time. It's probably gonna be the big room of typewriters. This contrived overlap rebounded on itself. Oh, different compressing, compounding, reflecting, and refracting. An urban legend and a murder in constant imbalance. Cause and effect hopelessly tangled. Arranged wrong, the dream logic flawed, the feedback loop doubled and redoubled out of control. The pressure kept building, looking for release. <sighs> okay. This so. contrived Oop. overlap. Rebound it on itself. Compressing, compounding, 
reflecting and refracting. I think that's where I jumped in. I like how she puts the flashlight down balance. when you're looking straight at it. Is that a... Is those... Well, those could be... Um, what is it? Like... The uh, double exposure effect. I think that's what that is. No, it's not. Shadow is here. Oh boy. How many? One, two, there's four of them. What the? What the? Oh, I missed. Wow, that was bad. Switch! Thank you. Oh, crap. Oh, there's that. Oh, I thought I dodged. Oops. What? Why did you... Where's that last one? Way down there. Oh, oh no. Oops. I thought I dodged that. That was a huge swing. <laughs> this is not how the story goes. Okay, cool. We're going to switch to this first. That was close. Here comes the big guy, right? Yep. Okay, you're dead. Give me, give me the shotgun, quick, 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 quick. Oof. Oh crap. Oof. Mm. I have two bullets left. Some staff down there had been corrupted. Shit just kept getting worse. Ah, uh, okay. Door on the right's open. This time. Hopefully there's some bullets in here. Jeez. Now see, if I don't get refilled with ammo, this is survival horror, because I have two bullets, and I'm going to have to fight something again. But I should get refilled, at least a little bit. There's nothing in here? Why was it open? Do not copy, wait, <laughs> just... Absolutely nothing in here. Fail. all red back here so that was open oh i gotta burn that away that's what i went through the first time let me see if there's ammo in there this time oh ammo right here actually perfect let's say is it empty like man oh wow yeah 20 bullets Jeez. that away okay, one more time so same paint so 
I don't have to fight anything. Oh, man, I definitely hear that. Loop three should be the last one. I keep coming back to this page. The author's clearly awake. It's like he's warning us. But about what? I mean, what does it mean? This page scared Jules away from the work on Wake's writing. A coward can't stand risk. But science is risk. For me, this is proof that we are going in the right direction. I just need Rudolf Lane's paintings to lead to more pages so that hopefully one day we can understand. <sighs> Interesting, interesting. I keep coming back to this page. The author's clearly awake. Good, more, okay, more it's bullets. Like I would've liked shotgun bullets, but, but beggars can't be choosers. Ooh, ask and he shall see. Alright, so, save again. Let's see what we have to fight this time. Ooh, I forgot. <laughs> they do that. I don't see any of the doors. Is that an overlap? Oh, that's his painting. It's an overlap. Yeah, because there's no door here now. Oh, it's completely different. There's that. Let's go this way. Is it a continuous thing? Oh, 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 oh. It's a continuous thing. So. Hopefully the doors will change. What was that for this, right? Hard hat area? Huh. Oh. Controllable shifting phenomena. Oh, we can open this. Okay. I'm glad I went in the right door first. If I had gone in this door, I would have to have gone back around anyway, so it works. So there's another one in there. Won't oh, open without power. Crap. Now I can. So do, do I just put that one back? Does that say broken? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. These look smaller than the ones Jesse was flinging around at.
I don't know what that did. Ah, aha. Ah, the door. Okay. Did it change the... No, it didn't. Yeah, okay, it's different. Alright. Oh, painting again. So we'll do about Alan Wake. Alan Wake's writing is being studied here. Do you know anything about him? Names don't matter. A thousand more to come. They say clear communication is the key to any relationship. You and I have some work to do there. What happened to you? Did the people here do this to you? Marmons! You said Marmonts before. Do they do this? Where are they now? Misery! Oh, here we go. Tell me where they are. Fixated on the Marmonts. What did they do? Uh, is that just the end? Yeah, it's just. Oh, this is floor two again. Well, I have to go back to floor. Oh, no, it's. Uh, we're on floor three. Oh, okay. I did not get the key card. Well, since floor two is just the painting, let's go back to floor two. A threshold is the connection between a foreign reality and our own. Now, they all have their own rules, strange as they are. But the further down I went, the more chaotic this one got. Clearly, this was the Cauldron Lake threshold, but something was wrong. Well, more wrong than usual. All right, let's... Uh... Okay, yeah. Level wide lockdown in effect. Sub level, please do. Level wide lockdown in effect. Please remain calm. Oh. You are heavy? You are not. Okay. Air in the different. I see one way up there. There's one over there. Alright, so... Ear lock. Ooh. Bed stuff. Nothing. Gosh. So everything's locked. You need a level 3 clearance card for that one. No taking it, that one. Coffee. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> there, it's all locked. Look, listen, think, say, for <laughs> This is open. Oh, there's a safe room in here. Cool. Run. <laughs> Quick save. Oh, wait. Hold on. Flashbang. Oh, boy. Flashbang. Oh. More ammo. 
Shotgun ammo. Two security. I don't have a key card for that, so I can't get out of here. Let's see if it's up on the desk. Oh, is that the other? Yep, there's. Yep, there it is. Level two. A higher access card. Sorry, oh. but I need this. Was that? Was that Marmont? Even painting yellow lines, lone tree, empty. Good. Ooh. Okay, red. Oh my goodness, that's way too many paintings. So that's a password. It's gotta be. Couldn't be the same, right? This is a different workstation. So what was it? 23, 18. Okay, different, different, different password. Uh, <laughs> is there anything here? Oh, you know what? I wonder if it actually deals with the paintings. Let's see. Oh my goodness, how many? Small white shape. Relevant. So, what is that, 170? It's the only one with a note. Neither one else has a note. Oh, description, no. That's got to be it. One seven zero. Gray with dark. Sky. Boy, you're going to tap canvas. Black spirals, large number. Round shape, vaguely triangular. Shape like an animal. Hmm. Jeez. Well, first off, let's try this. 169170. That's the only one with a note. The other ones don't, and none of the other ones have notes. 171. Sometimes overlap with each other and or bleed into a black circle, a tree at night, empty road in the forest. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yep. We may have to skip this one. Because I don't see anything else. The numbers have to be in there. Let's see. Are they so... Black circle shape among yellow lines. Black spirals. Red, yellow, green circle. Yellow crescent. There are three that have yellow in it. So 42, 24, and 24. What is it? Is it? No, no. It's 42, 4, 4. Damn it. That's not right. Nope. I thought, you know, law three, because it was there are three of each number. Hmm. 224, 344, 345, 225. Are there any sequential numbers? There are not. So it's 169, 170, 171. So it's 5, 24, 342, and then 344, 345. There's no 343. There's 224 and 225. Hmm. Painting sessions on redacted. Yeah. So, okay, black circle. black canvas yes 42 24 and then black void 44 let's try it let's try that 42 24 40. come on 44 24 42. damn it oh that was four two two four two two or 442 sorry four four two four did I do this one already? That's not right. Yeah, let's do. Four, four, four. Come on. Okay. Hmm. I may have to let this one go. Large variety of black spirals. Black void. That's forty-four, forty-five. Black canvas twenty. There's nothing else. So obviously it's in there, but we'll have to come back to that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I miss? I miss shopping shelves. Like, I kind of want to. I don't want to sit here. Oops. Right. Ready. Right. What the, am I missing something? What am I missing? I just, I 
am confused. Unfortunately, we'll have to move on. See any numbers anywhere? Oh my goodness, was it in here the whole time? Yep, that's changing your password. I thought I saw an interaction with shiny bowls. Oh, if it was in here, I'm going to be mad. Security, safety, censorship... I made the reservation for anniversary, which I certainly never forgot was a week from this Friday. Let's take separate cars. Oh, okay. So that's 09 a week. So seven days would be 21, 23, 9, 14, 23. So it would be, oh, wait. Hold on. I found out what happened. Patricia, Jules, fired her. I knew it. She was way too vocal. She had valid concerns. That man is a tyrant. Password policy. Can we do this new password policy? What security concerns? Anyway, I said the security terminal's password. It, it, oh my gosh, it was over here. Like the memo suggested, our anniversary is the base numbers, then black void. What? Yeah, the marms are losing it. Big surprise. I bet Diana said Jules' background to a big old turd or something. Password? Set work. Black Void is 44, right? The listing of Lane's paintings. I need to get in where this is going to be a total waste of Wednesday. 44 is right, yeah. So I guess you're telling me you don't know when our anniversary is. Well, good luck with that password. Today's password is the date of our special unforgettable anniversary plus brown shape horns. I maintain that single movie together does not deny. Begin a relationship. Huh. Uh, so brown shape with horns. So obviously, so what do you say? Yeah, it's over here. So password policy. Our anniversary is the base numbers, then black void. So it would be nine. 21. And then black horns. I'm, I'm so mad. I spent so much time looking for that. And it was over here. So it should be nine. 21 and then oh shoot i forgot what i forgot black horns so 25 or brown horns whatever so nine 21 point, Damn it. 21 it's a week from this friday seven days right so seven plus 14 is 21 you mean to tell me is it is it an extra day or is it a day let's do an extra day so zero nine 22 25 what there 7 plus 14 is 21 whatever whatever Dot hq more situations like this are going to fall through the cracks where the active management team in kansas have reached out to them. even if they did respond we all know they don't have a staff to investigate safety concerns i'm glad someone concerns. here stood up to them i'm writing because i have serious concerns about safety protocols being described this facility i've collected a list of violations so, lockdown protocol. So, I don't want to hit this button, but we're going to. Lockdown lifted. You are now safe to resume working. Sure, I am. Best of S, come in. Facility. Sub level one. You copy? No, turn back. Area is extremely hostile. Fucking radios. 
on floor one. I'll need help. So we're gonna leave real quick before I have to blast these people. Ooh, uh, reload. Hold on. We're gonna reload this. I didn't want to have to use it and then have to automatically reload. Ride the Perculator? What? That's from the, the other DLC. Jeez. Oh. Why were you? Oh my gosh. Reloading, look at that. Look, the other one's in the corner. deaths not bad not bad so far good thing i quick saved here all right so we're gonna reload this oh it gave me a whole set of battery nice Oh my goodness. Just just stay down. Like, I have no healing. Reload. I was like, reload the flashlight too. Jeez. The fact that you have to take three shotgun shots is ridiculous. the face no less like oh what why Ooh. Oh. Actually, hold on. Will I heal a little bit if I go into the light? A l just a little. <laughs> There's more. Yeah, there were more past the uh okay good. Oh, I forgot I had a flash oh my gosh, I had a flashbang. I could have just thrown it. I just thrown it. 
Oh, another uh, recording. I had a thought today, a possible avenue for further research. When we think of art successfully affecting reality, we always think of Alan Wake and his writing. This could be due to recency bias or, or simply the amount of recorded evidence skewing our opinion. But also, I wonder if writing's very nature is an advantage. Text can describe events in such explicit detail. The story gives the shadow a, how do you say, a blueprint, a map of what to make real. But not all art is like this. Music, sculpture, dance, cuisine, in our case, a painting. When the source material is open to interpretation, how will the shadow choose to interpret it? I think Diana will find the question very interesting. Most likely, she already has an answer. <laughs> That's why I love her. Okay. That was an interesting question posed. Let's go into the other room, see if I can get some ammo. Maybe there's a healing item. Didn't know my headset was gonna die. Woo! I don't know why I randomly just swing at times like that. Uh, HP progress review. So this was, I guess, dark witches, 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 witches. <laughs> dark scream of the darkness. Dark mind of the dark center of darkness. A well of darkness. A vortex like black paint. Darker, darker, darker. Dark figure emerged from the darkness. Facing the darkness with dark intent. A dark knife glinted in the dark darkly. A lot of dark. The rot snail beamed. A wooded grain bent from the owl. Egg male. Four forms in the glass eye. Ordering out. He chin. Okay. That's like, need more wake reference material. The dark woods rattled darkly. Flashlight peered into the deep darkness and the dark shivered. Flashlight scowled. A woodsman came with an axe. The woodsman's teeth screamed. Flashlight screamed too and was cut in half. Blood mixed with the darkness. A dark blend. Pistol looked at Flashlight in shock. There was nowhere to run, he realized. But he ran away. He ran to the deep dark of the woods. The woodsman rattled behind them. Bouncing through the trees, Pistol knew it had nowhere to run. Pistol drew his pistol and turned to face his death. The woodsman emerged and Pistol opened fire. Pistol's pistol flashed in the dark night. <laughs> Once, twice, thrice, the woodsman fell with a clatter. Pistol breathed in and out, in and out. Pistol looked at each tree, in and out. He was safe. And his pistol to charge it. He went to check on flashlight. Pistol checked each half of flashlight. She was dead. And he knew it. Pistol screamed at the trees. The trees screamed back. Interesting. All right. So nothing extra in here. So we're going to burn our way back into the main room. Uh, I am almost out of batteries. That's not good. I hear you. Oh, I used too many batteries. Great. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to search shells while running around. Oh, I thought it would burn him fast enough. It did not. <gasps> oh, do I have to fight all of them again? No, I don't. Oh, that's so good. Okay, good. Was 
there anything in here? No. Oh shoot, big dude. Well. Oh, okay. Oh, ooh. Ooh. I've got five bullets. I hate that they can do that. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there he is. What? I dodged that. <sighs> All right. Come on, give me something to heal with. Nope. I'll take bullets and batteries, though. Bullets, definitely bullets. Reload that. I'm gonna reload that. Okay, that door's. What is that? Number two? Nope, that's still number three. There's a computer down there. I'll be back in a second. Ammo box. Ooh, okay. Shotgun shells. Perfect. I'm trying to find something here. Oh, there are no. Oh. Is that a fuse? What was that? A, was it a flat? That wasn't a flashbang. I've had the flashbang. Nope, oh, that's the elevator. Oh, empty drawer. Is there nothing to heal? Ooh, even doing this, you dead. Interesting. Okay. There's retrieval. So here's another computer. Are you locked? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> That's a horrible password. You can have weekly gossip calls. Promise. Jules just sent out a memo asking us to spawn his wife's project. Remember when we just made fun of his stupid project name, science factoids, simpler times. Jules is withholding wave pages for Diana's team. He told her they went missing. Crazy shit. Paula mentioned you two were thinking about asking for a transfer. You'd really leave me here all alone? We can have weekly gossip calls, promise. <laughs> so, Booker's writing. It's like this story from Paige. Crack was an emotional one. Interesting. Okay. So they tried Finally, to. Finally! Oh. Someone who was into painting. <gasps> it's Booker! Hey, hello. Who are you? <sighs> Sorry, I got a flow going. Can we do this later? No, we cannot. I'm Agent Kieran Estevez. I'm with the government, and I need your name. <sighs> Ed? I'm Ed Booker, the playwright. And I'm hitting my stride here. So can you guys stop with all that banging and screaming? It's throwing me off. What are we even doing? What are you writing? Well, after you all abducted me in the woods, uh, I've been working on this manuscript you gave me because you need it for some experiment or something. I, I kind of forget the premise. But, you know, I've had this block lately, and filling in the gaps of this story has really loosened me up. Copying the style is a nice constraint, but I still have lots of room to play. It's a solid creative exercise. Where do you think you are right now? in an immersive writing workshop. Mm -hmm. Well, bad news, it's not a writing workshop. Good news, it's not a writing workshop. <laughs> right. It's a government facility studying the power of creativity. 
That makes way more sense. Look around you. How is this a workshop? You have to stay in character. I get that. I'm in a theater business, too. And look, the sets, the costumes, all great in that, you know, campy, 70s sci-fi kind of way. <laughs> but you could dial down the role-playing like 15, 20%. Just some professional advice. Sir, whether you are aware of it or not, there is a situation here. I need you to stay in your cell until I can resolve the matter, okay? Uh-huh, got it. Hey, no one's been around with food for a while. I could go for some dinner when you have a second. Hmm? Oh, and can I get my phone back? I want to call my wife. I don't know how Tammy found you guys, but she killed it. Five stars all around. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get right on that. That's very interesting. So that means there's somebody else. Shadow monsters represent capitalism, which means the flashlight is the power of the artist. Oh wow, he's even talking about yeah. Through the shadowy cloak of corporate cookie cutter bullshit. So there's nothing to heal with. That's a that's an open. I wonder what happened here. Oh, manuscript page. Jules Marmont looked at the painting. He didn't understand it. So only random whirls of color. Drug and Lane made him more compliant, but his work had turned abstract. Jules needed more art his team could parse, could test, trial and error. These abstract explosions of color complicated the data. His grip tightened around the letter opener in his hand. The piece of art he needed was hidden inside Lane. If Jules could simply cut the painter open and pull the painting out of him, he would. The overhead lights flickered. Jules would make Lane cooperate. No more drugs. Less carrot, more stick. Jules had to go faster. He wouldn't lose to Diana. Nothing else mattered. Mmm. Three jealousy. The husband was like, nope, we're not gonna do this no more. Lots of redacted. Don't decline. Today's subject refuses to touch the supplies. He claims he will not pay anymore. Wishes to leave. All right, let's listen to this. I can't paint anymore. I know you want me to paint, but I can't. I'm empty. Rodolf, no. You love to paint. And you are such a talent. This is just a classic artist slump. No. No, I... I hate it. It's just taking from me now. When can I leave? You said you'd let me leave. Ah, Rudolf, but you volunteered to come, remember? We are helping you, like Dr. Hartman did. Perhaps you need to see our doctor? I can arrange that. No. No, that's... I am feeling better. Much better. I, I will paint. Ah, this is wonderful to hear, Rudolph. I knew you would come back to your old self. Oh, wow. Even with coercion and stuff like Dr. Hartman. Jeez. Uh, okay. All removal and transport. So... Require a section of South Southern Wall needs to be removed for transport to sub-level 5. Tools require it's not my job to know which tools you use to cut concrete walls. It is your job. Or the wall must be removed very carefully. The painting on the interior side of the wall must not be damaged. Okay. This, I don't have anything to heal. Well, let me go back to just heal a little bit in the freaking safe room. Good. Okay. 
So it healed me to like 25%, I think what that is. Yeah. Uh, actually, quick save there. Real quick. I'm so mad I wasted time on that computer when the answer was in the other room. I'm so mad. All right, back to the elevator. Activity. Imminent AWB. Yep, we do that. Another flashbang. I, I gotta start using those. There's another flashbang. That's, I think this is three. I can't open that. Open that. Although this is red. Oh, there's the elevator. My team was on sub level one. I knew they were in danger. Square two. Marmonts turned innocent people into tools using the FBC's authority. <laughs> they thought they were untouchable out here, hidden away in the woods. No. Actions have consequences. And I'm the consequences. Oh, I'm probably going to have to. I was about to say, I'm probably going to have to fight them off. Sub-level one. <laughs> Bastard. Jules Marmont killed my team. He was taken by the shadow. I'm sorry. Let's go get that gun. I should get that gun while I'm up here. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Uh, this one? Shelter. I mean, that, oh. that name is not very scientific. I mean, I came up with that. Shadow. Comes to my lab and treats me like some kind of assistant. A putain d'assistant. Moi. I run the lake house. This is my facility. Mine. He cannot just. Walk in here for one week, make some speeches, and then fly back to New York. Uh, espèce de crétin, prétentieux. The jackass thinks he's a fucking rock star. And he made fun of the name. <laughs> oh, the shadow. The shadow is good. It's evocative. He is just the... Jealous, spoiled little child. And I will make it so everyone can see this. I, I will make it so no one even remembers his name! To see, to see his imbécile, là, hein? They all think I am a, a pencil pusher. They think I do not have the mind for such work. Eh bien, ils verront. Ils verront! I will take what they think is possible. I will break it. <sighs> mm. so obviously, he was uh, pushing for more. Power still. Let's go get this gun. Oh, 
hear any breathing though. Hopefully they don't come out the paint this way. Wait, is that the door? Do I have to hit the button again? Did not expect that, that's for sure. I mean, that, that name is not very scientific. I mean, I came up with that. Okay, so obviously. <sighs> we're gonna watch this corner. Oh! Okay, so obviously it comes out and then instantly grabs you. Obviously, I don't have enough health to survive it. So I just have to be careful. This is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. here because I don't have enough health to survive this grab. That's gonna suck. There's first aid cabinet. Like, can't grab it. There's no healing items. I don't understand. I do not understand why there's no healing items. Wait, what happened? Oh, I can go around a different way. Interesting. there's a certain way to go. I'm just going to have to die till I figure it out. Okay, that's new. Is there only one? Nope. Way too many times. I mean, that, that name is 
not very scientific. I mean, I came up with that. The other door's the other way. Uh, how did it, it just... Oh! Let's come into the room. That's fantastic. Progress update, fire nurses work. Nope, I meant to do that. <gasps> that, oh, so I grabbed the one without having the gun. Interesting. That's gotta be ammo for this gun. Oh, okay. nice. This should get me down to sub level five. And this should get me past any other problems. Charge the black rock launcher by holding down R2. Charge shots go farther and deal more damage on impact. There was a crack in the lake house. The Marmonts had let the lake in, but the water could not flow. I became trapped, stagnant, went bad. The truth was controlled here. The art was not art, just content for the experiment. The contrived overlap rebounded on itself, compressing, compounding reflecting and refracting an urban legend and a murder in constant imbalance cause and effect hopelessly entangled arranged wrong the dream logic flawed the feedback loop doubled and redoubled out of control the pressure kept building looking for a release oh, okay so that's what she was reading it was just cut up yeah so it sounded weird okay so there's that I need to get back to the elevator. Finally, something works on these bastards. Went the wrong way. I don't know if it killed it. I think it just stunned it. All right, you just came out of that painting. So I know you're there. We are going to quick save. Actually, I'm going to manual save just in case. Just in case. And so due to time constraints, this is going to be end of part one. At this point in the playthrough of the DLC, I am thoroughly enjoying it. I haven't noticed too many bugs um, and just the mechanics. Uh, the paint monster, of course, very very scary uh got me with a couple of jump scares so definitely loving it and as soon as it's uploaded you'll be able to click part two right next to the flashlight i'll be back